Google Chrome and Arc Browser Now most people are probably familiar with Google Chrome but might not be with Arc Browser. It's actually built on Chromium which means it has some similar functionality to Chrome but there are also quite a few differences between the two. So let's get right into it. Hey, what's up? My name is Shivam and in today's video we are comparing Google Chrome and Arc Browser. Arc Browser is quite new and I'm quite sure that a lot of you might not heard of. I made a whole video about the Arc Browser which means you can check it from the top right corner. Anyways, starting with the comparison, one of the first thing you will probably notice when you compare the Chrome and Arc is the way they handle navigation. In Chrome the search bar and all of the bookmarks are located at the top. In Arc however, you will find this navigation on the left hand side on the screen. This means that in Chrome you will have different tabs on the top that you can toggle through while in Arc you will see running list of tabs you have open on the left hand side along with favorites so from here you can quickly access those websites. Another way that Chrome and Arc differ is the way they allow you to organize your tabs and bookmarks. In Chrome you can create folders for your bookmarks and you can also favorite certain items that you visit frequently. In Arc you will find similar folders for your favorites as well as a list of websites that you might use. In Chrome you can also create saved bookmarks or groups of tabs together similar to how you can pin certain apps in Arc. But something that's very unique to Arc is concept of spaces. These spaces act like individual profiles and you can create new one for depending on what kind of work you are doing. For example you could create a new profile, new space for your work and keep all your tabs related to your work in that place and so on. This makes it really easy to navigate between different sections you are working on, especially when compared to Chrome where you can make profiles and flip through multiple windows. So this is a much better way in Arc. When it comes down to customization, on Chrome you can download themes from the Chrome web store and completely change the look and feel of your browser. Whereas on the Arc you can change the icons of these spaces, change color, add gradient and add texture which makes it a very modern looking browser. Aside from tab organization and saving features, there are also some noticeable differences between the Chrome and Arc. For example, Chrome has a web store where you can download extensions and apps, while Arc has a list of apps that you can access from the top of your browser. As I mentioned, the Arc is also a Chromium based browser, so you can also download extensions from the Chrome web store, or you can just import your extensions from your other browsers like Chrome, Safari, Brave, etc. Chrome also has a feature called pin tabs which allows you to pin certain websites to the tab bar for easy access. Arc has similar feature called pins which allows you to pin your favorite websites to the left hand side of the browser. What sets Arc apart from the Chrome are some additional features like here we get command bar. So generally with to open a tab we press command plus T which opens a fresh tab in Chrome. However in Arc if you press the command T it will open command bar. It's like a spotlight search for Mac, so when you have this command bar open, you can enter the URL and it will open the new tab with that website. If you type in something like it will search on the Google and you can also type in commands like add extensions and it will open that up. So you can do all sorts of things from this command bar. Then we have notes in Arc. To take the note, go to file, new notes. And here you can just jot down things while you're surfing the internet. Then we have easel. So this is a creative whiteboard where you can just brainstorm your ideas. To make one just go to file and select new easel. And here you can just give a little title. Then you can add screenshots, make arrows, shapes, draw lines and do all the things to get your mind out on a page. Besides that there is also a library feature in this browser. It can be accessed from the bottom corner and you will be able to see all your screenshots, notes, easels recent and downloaded files in just one place. So you can quickly access those like if you want to upload a screenshot, something like that. Last but not least, we have a cool way to take screenshots. So normally you can take screenshot by pressing the command shift three or four, and then you draw a rectangle or crop the image, which is not that accurate. Here in the arc, you can just press command shift two and, it, and you will see a camera icon on the cursor and you hover over something and it will automatically select that area for you. And you can just click to take a screenshot. That's it. So which is the better browser, Chrome or Arc? Please do let me know what you think in the comments below. Now if you ask me, it ultimately depends on your personal preferences and needs. If you are someone who values organization and the ability to save this for later, then Arc might be a better choice for you. If you prefer a more customizable experience and better integration with Google Apps, you should try Chrome. And if you are still not sure, then you can try both and see which one you like and then decide. 
Yeah, that's it for the video. Like, share, subscribe. Stay safe. Bye-bye.